In Space Watch, a black hole and its shadow have been photographed for the first time ever. An international network of telescopes captured the image. It shows a black hole 55 million light years from Earth in a different galaxy. The black hole is more than six billion times the mass of the sun. Researchers discussed their findings earlier today. We now know clearly that black holes drive large-scale structure in the universe from their home in these galaxies. And we now have an entirely new way of studying general relativity in black holes that we never had before. And as with all great discoveries, this is just the beginning. Joining us now is CBS space consultant Bill Harwood. Bill, thank you so much for joining us. First, can you explain what exactly are we looking at when we look at that image that we're told is a black hole? What is a black hole? Well, first of all, we're not really looking at the black hole. We're looking at the event horizon around the black hole. You know, what they call the event horizon is the point of no return. You know, a black hole has such concentrated gravity that nothing can escape it, not even light. And once a particle of light or anything else, an astronaut, for example, crosses the event horizon, that object is lost from the visible universe. Uh, so the dark area in the middle of that picture is showing where that boundary lies. And that orange light that's kind of encircling it, that's, those are photons emitted by gas particles, dust particles, that have been accelerated to near light speed just above the, the event horizon, just before they would be sucked into uh, the black hole and thus out of this universe. So does that uh, get... So it's really a... a do all of those ahead, photons and everything that we're seeing there in, in, in the light there, are those just getting sucked into the black hole at a faster and faster and faster speed until they are gone forever? Well, certainly the particles that make that trip across the event horizon are doing just that. The photons we're seeing, of course, managed to escape. They got away before the material fell in, streamed across that 55 million light years, and reached the telescopes making up the event horizon telescope that captured this picture. It's a remarkable achievement. You know, yeah. by definition, you're not supposed to be able to see black holes, but now they've done it. So that's why this is so significant, right? We can now for the first time see an image of a black hole, but are they slowly eating the universe, black holes? <laughs> no, but they believe that, you know, every major galaxy like the Milky Way has a supermassive black hole in its core. You know, now what the relationship is, you know, did the black hole form first and then the galaxy or vice versa? Those are topics still under discussion. But these sorts of black holes are common. There's no threat to us, of course. We're so far away from our own supermassive black hole. But they're very interesting because by studying them with pictures like this, you can really take Einstein's theory of relativity to the extreme limits and really put it to the test. And this picture they took closely matches uh, what computer simulations show based purely on Einstein's equations. So once again, uh, <laughs> Albert scored another goal. You Einstein might say. was right. All right, Bill Harwood, thank you so much. Fascinating stuff. Absolutely.